Hey everyone, I am so sweaty. Half of my makeup is like sweat off my face. Today I thought I would do a sort of collective kind of collective ah collective haul for you guys today because I haven't bought myself like anything in six months. So when the Boxing Day sales came out, I went a little bit crazy. I felt a bit guilty afterwards because I never buy stuff for myself, but I really needed clothes like really bad. So I'm really in love with everything that I got. Like I feel like I wanted to like revamp my wardrobe. So I'm pretty damn excited about everything that I got. So let's just get right into it. Starting off with something that isn't clothing related, I went to Kiki K and I got this book here. Oh my God, I just got my makeup on that. That's the saddest thing I've ever seen in my life. I don't know what I'm more worried about, my face or this book. So it just says focus on it and it's got this really pretty turquoise colour here and black polka dots and it's got really nice pages in it and then I got this pen to go with it. That's actually for a gift for someone. And then my mum got me this which I'm really excited about. I used to have one of these before like four years ago or something. And it is a sentence a day book, so it says reflect on the front, it's got the same pattern as the other book. And then it's got like January 1st, what is one of your new year's resolutions? And then you write it every year, so I'll obviously do 2017, 2018, 2019. And then you can look back and see what your answers for that year were the year before. And there's like March 9, my current favourite website is. It's just really exciting and I'm really excited to use it. And then another un fashion related thing I got was from Mecca Maxima. I got a $40 gift card for Christmas. So I got this, which is really strange. I thought this one's better than the one I had before, which is like the perfect one. This is the blending one, but it's like soapy. Like it's like, is that normal? I don't, I don't know. I really, I've been trying to force myself to like beauty blenders, but I'll tell you what, they're not making it easy for me because they keep like, I don't know. I feel like I'm just wiping off the foundation because it's like wet and this is like soapy. I don't get it, but I don't know. I tried this out. It was okay. And then I got this NARS concealer. I haven't had concealer in ages because the one I was using ran out and it was really crappy concealer anyway. So. I wanted to get a good concealer this time that's actually going to cover my under eye circles rather than just accentuate them. And moving on to the clothes. Why do I keep doing that accent? I don't know. From General Pants, I feel like I got a pretty good deal if I do say so myself. I got two tops and they were two for 25 which I feel like is pretty good because usually $20 for one top is good but 25 for two. So I got this white crop top one here. I'm pretty nervous to wear this one because my boobs might pop out of them, but you gotta get out there sometimes to go broaden your horizons. So I'm pretty excited to try that out. There's a hair on it. And then I got this one, which I really, really, really like. It's like a peachy, pinky, I don't know, just pink. I was gonna say salmon, but I don't know. It's just pink. And then at Cotton On, I got these bathers, which I'm pretty happy about. The bottoms are actually fit me really well, so I'm happy about that. And they're really nice. I like them. And then these tops, these tops. This top I was actually really nervous about because the cups often fit, but the, um, the strap around the back doesn't. So I get really nervous to buy tops from like things that are just like medium, large, small, rather than like 12D or 10C or something like that because I feel like they're not really going to fit properly but this one actually fits pretty well and it's a really nice um, material and yeah it makes the girls look pretty nice so I'm happy with that. And then this might be too much information but I don't really care. I got a 3 for 10 undies deal and I'm wearing one of them right now so you can't see those ones sorry. But the other two are, these ones are funny because you can see my butt crack, so, yeah. But I really like it. It reminds me of those bodysuits that are really in right now, like the lacy ones. The lacy ones. The, like, meshy ones with the pattern over the boobs. So I really like it. And then these ones are super pretty. But it's just got lacy on the booty, and they're a really, really nice material. I don't know if you can tell, but they're, like, I don't know. 
This is a bargain, guys. Get ready. $10 for these bad boys. So they're just black, obviously, as you can see. I don't know what I'm trying to explain here, but they're black and they're shorts and they're cool. And then from Valley Girl, which is one of my new favourite stores, I think, because I haven't been in there ever before. And then I went there with my dad the other day in the city and they have some pretty cool stuff. My moustache is sweating. So from there, I got this off-the-shoulder kind of top. It is off-the-shoulder, but it's got little straps as well, which are kind of annoying because they slip off, but oh well. But it's just this white, stripey material. Oh my god, I already got makeup on it. Why does this happen to me? I was wearing it today. I just had to change because I needed to do this haul, but I really like it. This was only 15 bucks, guys. 15 and then from Melrose Avenue, which is this kind of, I don't really know how to explain it. It's kind of just this shop where they do like cheaper knockoffs of other clothes that are in right now. Like, I don't know. But I got this dress and my sister said that I should get it. It's like this play suit that is crossed at the back. So it's kind of hard to show you. And it's low as well. And it's just low here and low here and stripy and blue and I'm uh, oops excuse me I'm actually really excited to try this because I don't usually wear dresses or play suits because I don't really like them because I like how with tops and bottoms you can like mix them up and wear different tops and different bottoms and you can get like five outfits out of one but I feel like play suits and dresses it's just like one outfit and no one likes outfit repeating so you kind of have to with these but I'm actually really excited to try this out because it's really pretty and I don't own a lot of nice, fancy, but also casual dresses slash play suits like this. So that's exciting. And then from Glaçons or however you pronounce this store, I got two things. I'm actually in love with this shop. I've never been in there before besides... On Boxing Day and I love it so much. So first I got this off the shoulder top that is so pretty. I can just imagine myself frolicking in the gardens, having a picnic with my nice husband, some nice cucumber sandwiches. Yeah, I can see it now. It's really flimsy as well so it's good for the summer because I can still wear it even though it's long sleeve. And yeah, it's so pretty and I'm really excited to wear it. And then I got one of these. I think I might wear this on New Year's. I've got an outfit in my head ready to go. So it's this see-through bodysuit in navy that has this lace detailed here over zinnipples like I was telling you guys about before. I feel like you can pair this with boyfriend jeans or white jeans or a black skirt or anything really. So I'm really excited to try that out I say that all the time but it's okay and then lastly girls these are the big bargains like this is the good stuff this is the stuff you came for Bardo okay this this shop right here this sale this deal should have been $230 and you know what it was 52 50 so, I got this jeans that are boyfriend jeans. I've wanted boyfriend jeans for so long, you guys do not understand. I just feel like boyfriend jeans you can put with everything and there's so many outfits in my head that I want boyfriend jeans for, but I didn't have boyfriend jeans. And jeans are way overpriced. Sorry, but they are. And these babies were supposed to be $140 overpriced, yes. But I got them for $37.50. Bargain. They're really cute and I can't wait to wear them every single day. And then secondly, this is really cute guys. This is really pretty. But bam. It's like a crop top and it's frilly and it's off the shoulder again clearly. Oh hello. Let's get back in our positions please. Clearly I love off the top shoulders. Clearly I love... <laughs> Off the shoulder tops because I feel like they're just really flattering and I like how you can see the collarbones and the shoulders. I feel like it's nice and promiscuous. I don't know what that word means. But I really, really, really like this. It reminds me of like Greece. Like I can imagine myself walking through Santorini with this bad boy. And this was supposed to be $90. 
I got it for 15 So that is all for my haul today. It's actually really fun filming these hauls. I really enjoy them. So maybe I should just buy some more clothes and then I can do these hauls again. Seems like a good excuse. If you liked watching this video, then just give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. I hope you guys had a wonderful day and I will see you very, very, very soon. See you guys.